Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a continuation on how to make your own fonts with the MyScriptFont.com. And I'm not going to go through all that. It's on a previous video, so just search that. But I've been playing around, and this is pretty neat. You can make your, your own font just by A, B, C. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Take your pick tool, go up here, and click that, and you've got it. Uh, so you could, you know, you could, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do this, and you could do it for a particular case, but then you'd have to do it again the next time, and if you if you went to, took the time to do all the letters. So what I did, you just type out your letters, and then there are going to be all, you know, if you type them out, continuously then you need to go up to object and break apart I've already broken apart then just let's uh, select the B left click your mouse button right click your mouse button and I have found just by playing around with this it pretty much needs to be a point to show up so hit the C left click right click in one point then once you've got this and you could do all the letters at one time but this area would have to be big enough to encompass all the the letters and some of them you know like if you did it here there's not enough room to fill up the letters so if you if you make sure that if you got enough to do one letter just click on your something you drew and I just I took the spiral tool and and um, just drew a bunch of spirals and you know just playing around with it that I just did lines and dots and it doesn't come out perfect but let's select that go up to object power clip place inside frame same thing now these have to be grouped together power clip place inside frame so you need you need to make three copies of it to do this power clip place inside frame then as in the previous video you would just size these to let's say 36 points and then um, and that might have changed some things and it did uh, it still looks cool so what you would need to do is actually uh, probably size it first and let's just go back and do that real quick Let's make our C 35 points. I apologize for that. Uh, let's make this 35 points. Let's really reduce this. Now this might not, not work. You never really know because now the lines are going to be so close together. So you might have to reduce it to, you know, half a point still might not work on the on with the program the the uh, font program but then just power clip place inside frame and you've got a little bit different font then as in the previous video you would just go and insert it and then make your own font but these are two I made tonight uh, they come out a little different than you designed them because the the circles aren't as perfect as they were and if they're too close to the edge the font kind of takes it over but I did I think this was copper text and this was uh, Arial and um, that's gonna be pretty cool I don't know you know the reason for it but if you were doing a kid's uh, birth plaque and uh, for a little boy or something you wanted to put you know dots or whatever it might come in useful uh, you know you can always do it you know you could just type in the the boy's name or the girl's name and and um, power clip the thing in there but then if you like that font and you ever want to use it again if you've taken the time to create that font uh, with my script so if, if you haven't seen that video go to that video it's, it's pretty impressive little program that really works pretty good anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching